Let's move on to topic number 10. And honestly, Ben has this as horse doper. The horse doper is barred. What do you think about that? And I know this is a big deal. And we've got a lot to say because the horse didn't show up in that next race. Yeah, that's right. So Bob Baffert, the trainer for uh, the winner of the Kentucky Derby, um, Medina Spirit is the name of the horse. Um, yep. You know they they had the they had the positive test for the um, banned substance. Um, you know they're still waiting on the test results that I think happened two weeks from when they took the test. So we're still waiting on that. Um, I think they're going to get it before uh, the Belmont Stakes. But Baffert is not only barred from entering Medina Spirit right now in the Belmont. He's barred from entering all his horses in the Belmont, and it's not just the Belmont. It's all the New York Horse Racing Association has barred him from any of the New York races. I can't remember the third one uh, on top of the Belmont, but the second one with Medina Spirit, who then uh, failed, is another huge race as well. Saratoga. You know, I don't know if anybody's ever been to Saratoga. It's awesome. I've I've been. I went once. Yeah. It was unbelievable. It's more blue collar than some of the Triple Crown races. It's a lot of fun, um, and it's an odd, but it's a huge race. He now can't answer horses, any of his horses in Saratoga as well. So I don't know if he's going to try to appeal and, and try to get some of the other horses in and maybe just not have Medina Spirit. Um, we'll see what happens with the investigation. But uh, this is also because of his history. He's had positive tests before. Five, past, yeah, five, five, right? So, you know, I think that has something to do with it as well. But this is huge. I mean, think about, you know, how many horses are not going to enter this race. And you're saying to yourself, you know, now the, the horse and the jockey of, of these other horses are, are going to not be in the Belmont. So this is this could be huge if this continues to come to fruition. We'll see what happens barring this this uh, investigation. But this is this is crazy. Yeah, I'm really still curious to see how that first test is going to come back from the running of the roses, because if it comes back positive, they're obviously going to have to vacate that win. And then I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to the horse that came in second place. Um, but I also, the horse Medina Spirit didn't show up in the Preakness. He, he was out there and he ran a little bit, but on the backstretch, yeah, he, he came in third. and But he got smoked in the on the backstretch, really. So it was one of those things where I'm not even sure Baffert really would have wanted to put him in the Belmont because it's an even longer race. And, and he just got smoked in the intermediate race. So I don't even think he would run well at Belmont, to be honest. Um, but it's also people were questioning, being like, was he not juiced up? And that's why he couldn't run well. So there's questions out there, too many questions. And I think it's just one of those things where, like you said, if you're Bob Baffert, you don't want to be known as like the Barry Bonds of racehorse training. And there's questions about, and that's what's kind of going on right now. There's too many questions surrounding you and your horses. I believe there's been about five horses, four or five horses that have had positive tests that have been trained by him over the years. And people are just kind of questioning it a little too much now. And it, it has happened again with Medina spirit. So it's one of those things where I think he, he's got to prove going forward that all of his horses are clean to get himself back in the good, good likes and to be able to race again in, in New York. But it's curious to see when that's going to happen. And obviously, we'll still be watching the Belmont to see who wins. But like you said, I wonder how many horses are even going to be running. In the Preakness, there was only 10 horses that ran. So now at the Belmont, are we only going to see six to eight horses that maybe get in the gate? Um, because I know Baffert, I think, is usually training two to three horses and usually entering two to three. So it's one of those things where, yeah, there's a lot of questions still abound. I wish they would get the the – sample done a lot sooner because we've all been questioning if that running of the roses was even even legit um so yeah i don't know bob baffert's got a lot of work to, to clear his name i think yeah you wonder if the new york racing association you know came down with this now to get other horses into the belmont i'm not exactly sure how the qualifying works for it so uh, i don't want to miss you know, represent anything there, but maybe that's what they're trying to do, or maybe they're putting this down now so that when the if the if the test result does come back as positive with the horse, that they already have this in place and everybody already knows that Medina Spirit's not going to be there, Baffert's horses aren't going to be there, um, or you know, the third thing is, do they have a little intel? Do they know? You know, has this test result already happened and they're just trying to figure out how to just uh, to come bring it to the general public? 
does the New York Racing Association already know about it? I mean, that's another thing that we can think about. Maybe they have some inside info that this did happen and, and this horse is going to be um, kicked out of the race. So a lot's going to unfold with this over the next couple of weeks until the, the early June race that is the Belmont. So it's going to be uh, – Interesting to see what happens with Bob Baffert, even after this triple crown and what going forward, you know, what's going to happen. You know, he's, yeah. he sees the collateral damage that just happened with all these other horses. Is he going to give this up and just, you know, allow somebody else to be the trainer and he step aside, you know, we'll see. It's interesting. You know, it'll be interesting to see what he wants to do, but that's going to do it for our 10 sports topics this week, folks. Thanks again for joining us here on comeback sports. Again, if you're watching us on YouTube, Make sure you give us a subscription on our YouTube channel, Comeback Sports. You can follow Brandon and I at our Twitter handles below. Again, call in this number. If you want to talk to us, if you want to ask us a question, if you want to call into the live show, if you want to leave a voicemail for us to call uh, to talk about next week, we'll play it on the air. Do that as well. And again, we're trying this on Twitch as well. So if you prefer Twitch over YouTube, head there and watch it on Twitch. Uh, So we're trying to bring this to you for a couple of different uh, platforms uh, to watch Comeback sports so again thank you so much for joining us folks uh we will see you next time here on comeback sports have a great week everybody